Hey, no worries. I'm gonna roll a cigarette. All right. What up? What up? What up? And welcome, man. Yo, look. Um, so we've been doing a lot of this financial stuff as of recently. A lot of these economic videos, a lot of economic news, and a lot of stuff about you know, I mean, the corona and all the nonsense that goes with it. And I kind of wanted to cover at what point. You know what I'm saying? You should start looking to get the hell out of Dodge and what you do if you are, um, the different situations, you know what I mean, we're kind of going to run into in this thing and where we really are as far as, you know what I mean, um, this whole premise. And I wanted to start with, you know I mean, back in the day, back in the like mid 2000s, like there was a big movement of preppers, a big movement of individuals out here doing, you know, like um buying generators, getting ready, you know what I mean, buying silver, buying gold, buying drinking straws, buying, you know what I mean, bug out bags, you know, like yeah, that show, remember the doomsday prepper shows, all these type of things, right? It was real, real big, probably about uh, 10, 15 years ago. And I was part of this movement, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, hell yeah, you know, we should always be ready for whatever's going to happen. And so, like, I wanted to update some of this knowledge and kind of bring some of our, like, basic ideologies about what everybody, you know I mean, kind of should basically have as far as things are concerned, you know what I mean? And, like, what you should be looking to do where you should be looking to be, what type of area, like what, like what everything really is. Um, so we're going to, and we're going to go over some language about this. Um, Tietowaki, uh, T E O T W A W K I means the end of the world as we know it. All right. Um, you hear if anybody talking about this, you'll know they are a like-minded spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you hear people talking about SHFT, that's when shit hits the fan. You're talking about people talking about FUBAR, you know what I mean? Fucked up beyond all recognition, right? These are all things, you know what I'm saying? That like, yo, you should know. I wanted everybody to like kind of have some of the lingo down pat, these type of things, right? So you know exactly what's going on and like, you know, just getting us language allows you to have conversations about stuff you know what i mean and allows so, you to be so, able to know so you're wanting people not to wind up in a uh, whiskey tango foxtrot type of situation <laughs> yeah, exactly exactly i got my boy floyd here you know what i'm saying i invited some other individuals but yo look man yo people are hard to come by you know what i mean i like floyd he's a cool dude you know what i mean um yeah so we also have uh you know what i mean i wanted to kind of like go over everything as far as stuff was concerned um and at what point you should be looking to get out of Dodge. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the reality is, is once they start getting down to the level of where they're doing gun confiscations, hyperinflation, systems breaking down, they're not collecting the trash, mail's not getting delivered, ambulance ain't coming, the water goes out, lights go out, your inability to be able to resupply anymore and you no longer feel safe, it's time to probably get the fuck out of Dodge or start actually enacting your plans, enacting your preps. And I mean, if you don't have any preps, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go over some basic stuff today just to try and, you know I mean? Get you ready for what's what may or may not come because we're not real sure which way any of this is going to go. They've rescued things from the brink before, you know, and but I've never really seen it on this level. Me personally, in my lifetime, um, like I lived through I, blizzards. I don't think, I don't think anybody living today has, has seen shit on this level. No, no. I mean, like, yeah, if you've ever been like through like anything that happened in Eastern Europe back in the 90s, you would know about this. You know what I mean? Right, like when the when the Soviet Union fell, this was you know I mean a situation for a while when they had um cities surrounded and you know I mean countries were civil wars and things of this nature. You had these type of problems. Um, you had these type of issues recently in Venezuela. Um, you had these type of problems in Iran. You've had these problems in Zimbabwe. So there are people alive today who have been through this situation before. Right. But like nobody in America in mass has ever seen this. Like, yeah, I've seen, yeah, that's, yeah. that's 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 what I'm going for, man. I, I don't I don't think any any American has ever seen anything like this. We, we, we don't know what we're in for, man. I feel you. So I wanted like the first thing I wanted to say is if they start doing gun confiscations and they start locking people down, you know, what I mean, like, you know, what I mean. Cops are out here patrolling the streets, making sure you're not outside. Um, at that point, you no longer need to trust the law. 
Um, any police officer who's willing to violate the Constitution is not there to help you at that point. I want yeah, everybody I, I, to have like full understanding. I don't. I don't believe any cop around here would would be willing to do that, man. They they would be unfit to wear the badge. Well, let's let's put this like this. Down in Maryland, they had this dude recently, uh, like two weeks ago, something like that. I don't know. I heard about this last week. I'm not sure when it happened. I think it actually might have happened in December. Um, but this kid was sleeping in his bed, right? And they deemed him a terrorist. And the cops shot him through his window while he was fucking sleeping next to his girlfriend. What? Yeah. You there? Wow. Um, holy shit. Right. And that, that's kind of, you know, I mean, where the mentality is, you know, like, you know, when you have police on that level where like legitimately like they're shooting you from outside of the house and they shoot you into, you know, I mean, that that into your house and in your bed while you're sleeping. Right. And, you know, I mean, they go, oh, man, you know, he was heavily armed. I'm like, and, you know, he was a terrorist because he was like on 4chan or whatever and talking reckless. You know, what I mean, but he was never on that level. You know what I'm saying? Like. No, nobody should ever be on that level. Like the police should at minimum knock I, I on the mean, door, and they did it in the middle of the night too. That's the other half of that. In his parents' I, house, I, 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 I can, I can get it. Yeah, uh, the, the fucking cops are scared too. Yeah, but <sighs> dude, that's that's not professional, dude. Um, holy shit, dude! I, I've never done any work that that even comes close to law enforcement. No, but me either. Anytime I put on my uniform. You know, there, there's there's a certain level of professionalism, and uh, that keep calm that that is required of me. That that sounds like a, a fucking shitty officer. Yeah, that was, sounds a, like somebody got group. scared. It was a group of shitty officers. That, that herd mentality fucking went off, and oh shit. Yeah, it was a group of shitty officers. You know what I'm saying? It was like 12 of them, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, all, that's, that's what I'm all, saying. Yeah, like, they all that, covered that, for that, that dude. That whole herd mentality. Yeah, they all covered for that dude. Oh, no, 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 man. I, I would have thrown that dude straight under the bus, you know, and, and poured in some wolves. All right. <laughs> so, okay, now... Not a, you know, I mean, not that we understand where we are with like things like the police, you know, I mean, and you're on your own. OK. And, you know, things are breaking down severely um, to the point of where like your basic necessities aren't being met in your neighborhood. Um, there's two separate plans for this. One is families and the other one is single males. Um, as a single male, uh, you should be moving towards a family area, uh, moving towards a grant, your dad's house, grandfather's house, uncles, cousins, friends somebody who's away from urban areas away from suburban areas as well you don't want to be in the suburbs because the suburbs are just as bad as you know i mean the urban areas are when this comes down when when it really comes down to it you know i mean because like the suburban areas you're talking about one way in one way out a lot of these developments um you know there's a lot of people in a very small area not a lot of land to grow things um there's not going to be a lot of cooperation somebody fucks up you know what i mean like yo you're gonna have to sleep at night you know, and there's not going to be anybody guarding you. This is, you know, I mean, going to be a bit of an issue. So you're going to want to get to like at least a family member's house who lives in a rural area as a single male. As a family, you should be bugging in. All right. Um, bugging in literally means, you know, I mean, uh, standing here, staying where you are and, you know, I mean, preparing to survive. You know, I mean, uh, like as you are. Um, if you have any fruits, potatoes, um, garlic, onions in your house immediately get them buried into the ground and start growing shit and i mean start having stuff and i mean in your backyard that you can eat um you know start prepping as far as long term being able to survive and eat um get your bathtub filled up with water uh fill up as many jugs buckets whatever you can with as much water as possible at that moment um you know make sure you know i mean your guns are out of the safe don't have them you know i mean st uh, stashed away nowhere um, and you know, like, make sure you, you have what you can. What up? what up? No matter how much fucking Tom rags on your ass for you know handling a a particularly valuable fucking twelve gauge, get some <laughs> damn shells for it. 
yeah. it, at the end of the day, it's still a shotgun. For sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But as a single male, right, when it comes down to it, you should be moving towards, I mean, family members. Now, you're going to want to pack what's known as a bug out bag. All right. A bug out bag can be anything from, the, you know, a Jan Sport book bag to, you know, I mean, like a super high end military style camo, you know, what I mean, camo pack with a tent and a whole nine. Right. You know, um, but like at minimum, you're going to have some stuff that you're going to need. All right. When it comes down to it. And I'm going to show you exactly what it is that you're probably going to need. All right. So. I actually have pictures up on the screen right now. You know what I'm saying? On my OBS. All right. I got a knife, first aid kit, uh, socks. Socks and clothes are really important. Clothes, not as much as socks and underwear. All right. Socks and underwear are utmost. You're going to need at least five, six pairs of socks packed up. You know what I mean? Like, yo, because you'd be amazed how often socks can save your life. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you ask anybody in the military, socks, 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 socks. Taking care of your feet is utmost, especially when you're going to be traveling. Um, if you don't have MREs, if you don't, if you're not already prepped, you know what I'm saying? If you hadn't gone out and bought, you know what I mean? Dry food or granola or anything of this nature, yo, there's nothing quite like peanut butter. You know what I mean? As far as things are really concerned, look, peanut butter uh. is packed with protein. <laughs> just, I, 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 I'd say ramen is 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 a pretty good go-to okay. as well. All right. No, think about this. Think about this, Floyd. All right. So, how much water can you carry? Um, I, I, I don't, I, I don't even need the water to cook the ramen, man. I can make Chinese popcorn. You know, just crack up and sprinkle the flavor packet in there, shake it up, and eat it that way. Okay, look, again, peanut butter, crackers, whatever, you know what I'm saying? You want heavy carbohydrates, you're going to be traveling on foot, all right? Probably going to be going over your terrain, you know what I mean? You're not used to moving over. This is going to get you in shape, you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. You'll get to where you need oh, to be. Oh, and what the hell is happening? Why? What you got going on? What's up? I don't know. Floyd's losing is whatever. All right, silver. Silver is cheap right now. Silver has been cheap forever, but silver is also something you can exchange for goods no matter what happens. I recommend having no less than a pound of silver. Me personally. You know, I mean, I think you should have silver. Silver will be traded for any good that you need. Um, and, you know, who knows? Might even buy you a safe passage. You know what I mean? Or a ride. Or maybe water if you need it. Whatever the case might be, depending on how far you're traveling. But you're going to want to avoid roads. All right, you're going to want to like get out in the woods, you know, probably walk minimum five, six, seven hundred yards off the road. Try to keep it on the side of you, you know, try to make sure you have some type of line of sight of where you're going. You know, I mean, understanding what the deal is, pack a map, pack a lighter, um, ammunition and guns. All right. So we've mentioned guns a few times um, and I have recommendations for guns. I think a 22 long rifle and a 12 gauge is perfect you can carry them both because you can't carry a whole bunch of you can't carry a whole bunch of firearms ar-15 if you can if you have one that's great if you can get one it's amazing um but you know i mean most people at this point it's going to be out of reach for you you know what i'm saying and most of these places are closed and you're all kind of you're kind of fucked right now for what you can have but a 22 long rifle and a shotgun pretty easy to come by they're cheap they're easy they're simple denizens of the depths what up man welcome hey, to the Tom, motherfucking video on? We're, hey, we're, what up, we're, that's we're, we're having What's up? we're having we're having a conversations. We're talking about what you're gonna pack inside of your bug out bag. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. Um, Tom, what check up? this out. What's up? Um, all right. So, the, my grandma owns a, a little fucking Ruger twenty two. Handgun or twelve? Handgun or rifle? Handgun. Okay. I. It's no longer in our possession. Okay. It's. Remember, it's you're being recorded right now. Away. You're being recorded um, right now. Would Would that be? <laughs> would Would a little twenty two handgun loaded with hollow points? Would that be sufficient for self defense? Well, yeah, yo, bullet to bullet to bullet, you know what I mean? Like, it don't really matter. Um, you know what I mean? You could put, you could fill somebody with holes no matter what type of firearm you really have. 
you know what I mean, like, you know, kind of is what it is, but, yeah, like, you know, um, I have a problem with handguns only because they have to be registered, right, and that means that the police know you have them, that's my only real issue with handguns, you know, this, I don't, this like gun paper. has been in the family since the 1970s, um, I and gotcha. I really want it back. Well, you know, if it's a couple states away, you're not going to get it back at this point if things go bad. All right. I mean, it's what it is at the second. All right. So anyway, Dennis is the depth. I was going over a uh, pocket knife, first aid kit inside of the first aid, every first aid kit. You're going to want aspirin, bandages, neosporin tape and um, some basic uh, antiseptic type of stuff. Socks. Socks, 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 and underwear, and you know what I mean, possibly, you know what I mean, like shirt, pants, hoodie, these type of things. Um, if I, I told them, if you don't have meals ready to eat already, the MREs, you know what I mean, that you get from the military or whatever, you know, surplus, um, yeah. peanut butter is amazing. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. You that, know, that is an excellent source of protein. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can pack some crackers or whatever for heavy carbohydrates so you can travel. Uh, a pound of silver. You know what I mean? Like, you should probably, you know what I mean, have silver on you. Your money may end up, you know, this is looking like a hyperinflation situation, so money may end up being worthless. Uh, lighters. You're going to want lighters because you're probably going to need fire. You know what I mean? Like, yes. it is what it is. Lighters. Uh, I I have been preaching that for, the well, as long as I can remember. Dude, you should always have a lighter on you. Yeah, because fire is your best friend. Well, you're gonna want extra lighters in your bug out bag. You know, I mean, you're gonna like, you know, have one in your pocket, you know, for whatever. But like, you're gonna want extra ones in your in your bug out bag just in case that gets wet, something bad happens, whatever. You know what I mean? Something you can keep dry and it stays out. Um, ammunition for whatever you know, I mean, firearms you're gonna be carrying, and uh, bottles of water. You're gonna want at least, you know, I mean, four or five bottles of water to begin with. You know, um, a lot of people talk about canteens. If you have one of the really nice bags, you know, I mean, you can, you know, you can stand here and go with, you know, uh, the camel pack. But, you know, if you are just packing like, you know, uh, a bullshit Jansport book bag or a duffel bag, whatever the case might be. Well, hey, look, man, you know, we got to we got to cover everybody here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, like, I understand. Totally, yeah. yeah, like we want everybody to be as prepared as absolute possible. You know what I mean? We want you ready to go. You know, I mean, we want you to have the best opportunity you can to survive. You know, that that's really where this is at. You know, this is not about, you know, standing here, you know, m making money or anything along these lines. I ain't, I ain't sponsored by nobody. Yeah. <laughs> this is about, hey, look, if you got to get the fuck out of Dodge, I want to make sure you're okay as much as possible. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's the fucking point we're getting to. Yeah, because I don't know where we're going with this at this point. You know what <laughs> I mean? It ain't gonna be good. <laughs> this, 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 this stupid fucking shutdown cannot go for more than another couple of weeks uh, before fucking society itself collapses. You know, I mean, um, yeah. So on top of that, like, a, you, you, a tent would be absolutely fucking helpful in this situation if you have one you know i mean uh tent would be amazing keep you, you know, i mean away from the elements and again you are not packing a bag that you're going to live off of the rest of your life you're packing a bag that you're going to be traveling with and it's going to be less than 50 pounds all right you prefer it around 25 30 really because 50 pounds is heavy while you're yep. walking yep all right and you're gonna want to like start making your way towards somebody you know who's out in the sticks, away from everything. You know, what I mean, because and as you bring, you know, if you bring firearms, ammunition, you know, what I mean, you know, silver, whatever the case might be, you know, you are going to be helpful to them because the more hands you have in these type of situations, the better off you are. You know, Very true. That that's my mentality. You know, I, 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 I don't bring much to the party, but uh, I, I'm I'm sitting on a uh, rather large amount of land. So there you go. OK, so as far as firearms concerned, we were talking, I said 12 gauge. This is a Remington 870, yeah. 300 out of the box. You know what I mean? They're super cheap yeah. um, as far as guns are concerned. Uh, so is the 22. Right. 22. Uh, you can get a 22 Savage, you know what I'm saying? Either full auto or bolt action or semi-auto and bolt action for $100 out of the box. 
you know, yep. and you can literally buy a 500 pack round of, you know, I mean, 22 ammunition for 20 bucks. A decent rifle. Um, it's good. They, 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 like, they, they tend to jam, but they, they stove pop, stove pipe a lot. All right. On, um, yeah. Well, here's the thing. You're going to, you want to, want to, want to be able to have a firearm you can hunt small game with as you go. You know, I mean, squirrels, yeah. whatever. You know, I mean, that way. Yeah, squirrels, you know, rabbits. You get jammed um, up, or you got a long trip, or it appears where you go to, the person ain't there. You know, what I mean, they, you know, it, it's whatever. You know what I mean? You end up like having to take a roundabout way because you, you know, end up running into a bad situation. You know, you're going to want to be able to provide food for yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So, um, other things you can do to help yourself out. You know what I'm saying? During this situation, keep a full tank of gas. Yeah. All right. Do not leave yourself with an empty car. All right. Don't have yourself in a situation where you hop in your car and you go, fuck, I got to get to the gas station. Like, yeah. Rule of thumb, always keep it half a tank or higher. Nah, man. My, my, my shit is full right now, and, and I got five gallons sitting in a can. Yeah. Well, you're, you're bugging in. You know what I mean? This is for individuals like me. I'm bugging out. All right. I'm heading up north, whatever the case might be. And. You want to be able to get as far as you possibly can, you know what I mean? Because you never know what's going to happen. Like, I had I, like I had a dream last night, legit, uh, or actually earlier today while I was sleeping. I had a dream, you know what I mean? That, like, um, DC got hit by a fucking nuke, you know what I mean? Like, just that was like a dream I had, and it was fucking weird. You know what I mean? It was fucking scary as shit. And, like, you, like, you never know. Like, somebody takes advantage of this situation and pops one off. <laughs> You've been reading too many books, my dude. I ain't read any books. <laughs> I ain't read nothing. You know what I mean? But like, yo, like you never know. Like yo, because yo, EMP loss of power. There's all types of bad stuff that can yep. happen. You know what I mean? And you want to be able to get as far as possible away from urban areas and suburban areas. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a single male living in an apartment building, that place is going to turn into a death trap at some point. You know, eventually that'll be a jail for you. That'll be what that is. And you won't have any place, like, how much food can you store in an apartment? You know what I mean? No, dude, we, we, we've all seen fucking uh, 28 weeks later. <laughs> yeah. You know, and... Yeah, we, we, we know how this can go down. Yeah, I feel you. You know what I mean? This is kind of my mentality, you know? And again, like, yo... When we start talking about these things, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's important that you understand how bad this can get and where it can go to. And you should, I'm not going to advise you to go live in the woods because most individuals aren't survivalists. They're not able to do these type of, they're not, they're not going to be able to live off the land and, you know, do all that type of shit. They're, they're going to be jammed up. You know, you'll, you'll survive a week. <laughs> you'll, then you'll starve to death or break your leg and you'll be fucked up somewhere and not know what to do or eat a parasite get bit by a tick with lyme disease you know yeah <laughs> shit can happen out there yeah yeah you know what i mean that's definitely a good idea to start thinking about this kind of shit now before shit hits the fan because like the psychological impact of everything coming down around you is just as dangerous and deadly as the physical stuff so it's best to get oriented with thinking about these things now before it's too late yeah having a plan and a goal in mind is never a yeah. bad idea you know that's that's really where the mentality should be at like and that's the real big thing is you know like you know having a goal that you set for yourself like say you know i gotta walk to here you know what i mean it, it might yeah. be like 50 miles you're gonna have to cover over hard terrain you know, but like that. Well, honestly, how long you think any of us are gonna fucking last living in a cave? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck is that reverb, Floyd? Yo, this 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 dude's over here like trying to like you know be clever and shit. Like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> um, how long do I think any of us will survive? You know, it depends on you know your abilities. You know, that's kind of where it's at. And I'm I'm trying to do this for people who really don't have a whole lot of abilities, like. Yeah. You know, I'm I, I, I don't I don't think I'm really like a, a survivalist. You know, I, I'm more like the numb nuts, you know, that when we we have a campfire and we can't get the grill going and shit, you know, I'm like, hey, fuck it. Hey, we, we got a really long spatula and I can just like stick the hamburgers in the fire on the spatula. 
Yeah, see, again, you know, I mean, this is why we have to cover it for everybody, right? Because, you know, Floyd exists. And that's kind of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get going on this shit, Floyd. Start building those skills up, man. Yeah, yeah. Skills are important, you know, knowing how to fix things, knowing how to, you know what I mean, like garden, knowing how to grow vegetables, knowing how to, you know what I mean, do basic first aid, you know, CPR, Heimlich, all these things. You know, these are important skills to have. I, I know. I, I You know how to drink heavily. I know that I, much. I don't know jack shit about, like, you know, growing vegetables and plants and whatnot. Um. But, you know, you bring me like a fucking 1960s on car. I, I can I can do routine maintenance and and I can get it to start back up. Yeah, agreed. You know, I mean, I can do the same thing. You know, I mean, I can work on small motors. I can work on hydraulic pneumatic systems. I can weld. I can I can do all types of stuff, you know, yeah, that, that, that shit's kind of easy, right? Yeah, it's not easy, you know, just it's a skill set you pick up from doing it. You know? yeah. Like, and you know, if you've never done any of this stuff, like you don't have these type of skills. So, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to stand here. We're going to try and help people get through these situations, get them prepared for these type of situations. So they're not like just caught ass out. You know, that's that's what we're doing right now. You know, I mean, we're trying to make sure that everybody is OK as far as things are concerned. You know, like we don't want we don't want people to be standing here, you know, just completely lost and have no clue what's going on. You know, looking around going, oh, my God, the world's coming to an end. You know, what I mean, and we, we aren't ready. You know, we want you to have, you know, what I mean, like some basic stuff ready to go. Understand what you're doing. Don't trust the police. Don't trust fellow travelers. You know what I mean? Um, oh, hell no. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, like it, it'd be cool. Like, and this is the thing, like yo, guns and hands are important, though. You know, having, you know, I mean, like minded individuals around and having people who, you know, you can trust and you can rely on is going to be very, very important, you know, because we're not talking about surviving a week. We're talking about surviving, you know, I mean, the next five years or whatever the case might be. You know what I mean? That's right. I, I really hope it doesn't come to that. Yeah, we don't know. We have no yeah. idea how bad this is. You got to prepare get. for it, man. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You know, like we're not I'm not saying that anything's going to be on that level. No idea. But we wanted to stand here and I well, I wanted to stand here and go, you know, let's, you know, let's stand here and put this out and give some basic information about what you can do, what you should be doing, what you should be looking at, you know, and like what you can just be basically prepared for. So you have a little bit of peace of mind. You know, and you have just a little bit, you know, of like, oh, man, you know, Tom P's taught me this, you know, or whatever, you know. And like, ah, yo, don't worry, I can get this done. You know, all I got to do is walk to here, you know, and like, this is what I'm going to do. This is my plan, you know, because like there's, we used to have evacuation plans. I remember back in the late 80s, early 90s when the USSR was still a thing, you know, you had evacuation plans for like what happened if you got hit with a nuclear weapon because, you know, there was a Cold War. I I don't I don't remember nothing like that. Well, you're not as old as I am. You know, dude, I'm 36. Oh wait, you are as old as I am then. Yeah, I don't I don't know why you don't remember that. Well, probably because you're drunk most of the time. You know, that probably <laughs> probably help it. Uh, no, you know, um, maybe because I grew up in Cornfield, Indiana. Yeah, I, I grew up on the East Coast, right next to Three Mile Island. You know. Yeah, yeah, man. You you actually had a fucking nuclear disaster. Yeah, like it's something that is like we're ready out here. <laughs> you you got to be ready when you live in the shadow of a, a nuclear reactor that already melted down. <laughs> you, you got a fucking half melted down nuclear reactor in your backyard. Mm -hmm. We got three eyed fish and shit. So like you know, you got to be ready to go at all times. You never know what's gonna happen. So. You know, that's that's the mentality, you know, around here. You gotta gotta always be ready for whatever's gonna be thrown at you. So, you know, we want to you get know, we, we 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 had a fucking coal fired plant fucking dumping all its garbage in the river and shit, and then we ended up with like, you know, fucking catfish that were like purple and lumpy. Yeah, we have the same thing here, because we also have coal plants. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but like this is what I'm saying. Like, yo, we, everybody should have a basic plan in mind. That way, you know, when this, when if things go bad, you're like, okay, 
this is what we're going to do. You know what I mean? And like, you know, because the internet's going to be gone, you're not going to have electricity, you're not going to have the ability, you know what I mean, to ask a lot of questions. So I'm going to try and give you as much information as I can, you know what I mean, and give you some basic guidelines for what you should do. Stay off of the roads. The yeah. police are not your friends. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if they go through gun confiscation, you know what I'm saying, and they're still police, they're yeah. not there for you, buddy. All right? They're not there to help you. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think any cop is ever going to fucking get on board with the gun confiscation. Oh, don't, don't, don't you stand no. here and think that. Yeah. It's easy to think that and say that now, but when the chips are down... You can't predict human behavior, man. Well, just not just that. Like, yo, they have, yo, they got families to support. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, dude, they're gonna it's do what they gotta do on. to earn their paycheck. You know, yeah. like, how, like, yo, dude, like the Nazis trained people just to shoot individuals in the streets, and not, not even think I, about it. I, I'd like to think that 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 the cops are, are just, you know, people, man, with a job to do. Yeah, I would. And you would like if to that, think that job becomes too outrageous, it, you know that that human instinct is going to kick in. They're going to be like, "No, <clears throat> fuck this! I'm not doing that." Well, the thing is, Floyd, when it comes to that point, they may have no other options but to continue in that uh, that job. You know, enforcing those laws as unjust as they might be, they might be between a rock and a hard place, and they're not going to have another option, so they're going to do it. They got child support to pay. They got bills to take care of. You know, they got, you know, I mean, kids to feed. They got, you know, X, Y, alimony. To pay. We got mouths to feed. Nate, nothing in this world for free. Yep. Right. right. But I'm saying, like, you know, like they, they got alimony. They got, you know, car payments and house notes. You know, they have all types of stuff that they have to pay for. You know, and like if you stand here and go, well, you know, there's no other jobs out here anymore. You know, fucking everything's shut down. Like the whole world's collapsing. Like we're gonna keep giving you a paycheck as long as you keep doing what we tell you to do, and they go, all you yep. gotta do is go take these guns, and if they want to fight you about it, you know, what I mean, that's their problem. That's they did that. It's not about you. Yeah, they'll feel lucky to have to, to have yeah. to pay at that point. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yo, I, I, this is where I'm at, dude. Don't you, don't you have faith in police? Seriously, like, yo, yo, I'm gonna tell you like this: in Stalinist Russia during World War II, when they were fighting the Nazis, the reason that the the Soviets won legit is because of the fact that they had guys behind the troops who were more armed than the troops and if the troops tried to run away they would shoot them and it happened a lot like these are human beings you know what i mean like yo, humans are humans are humans my friend you know I, mean? I i understand and uh remember <laughs> Remember this. Well, Remember, think, think about it like this. In Berlin, in the ninth, late 1940s, females used to line up to get their food, you know, I mean, once a week or whatever, you know, their grain and their rice or whatever the hell they were getting, you know, eggs and milk or whatever, right? And they'd look at each other and they'd go, how many, right? And what they meant was how many Soviet soldiers had raped them that week. And everybody knew about it and everybody was perfectly cool with it. Yeah. This is you'll understand something, you know. I mean, human beings are human beings are human beings. Always, we're animals when it comes down to it. And yeah, police are, man. yeah, police are criminals who didn't make that terrible decision when they were kids. <laughs> it's a good way. The the, the only cop that I have ever met that that should have been a fucking criminal. Um, the the dude hated me just because of my family name. I'm, I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna put it to you like this, dude. I've I've dealt with a lot of cops in my lifetime, you know. I mean, who were in general good people, but I've watched them do terrible things. You know, like I know I'll, I've known a lot of police officers, legit, and you know most of them, you know, they stand there and you know they pack together, and you know they're scared for their lives, and they're just all they have is each other. You know, I mean, when they're out there on the field. And one of them's going to follow the next one, and they're all just going to follow their training as they're told. Yeah. That's how that operates, dude. And they, be, they just become people are highly adaptable creatures. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I, I guess I get it. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a cop out in the field in in a, a weird and dangerous situation. Yeah. Um, he, he's probably gonna fucking follow his training and just... Anybody would do that shit, though. Yeah, exactly. Your know, people are training adaptable. is what it always comes down to in any kind of stressful situation. All the conscious executive action of the mind falls away, and it's the subconscious shit that kicks in. That's what they're going to fall back to. That's what everybody's going to fall back to in yeah. such a situation. Uh, yep. Yeah. So the best thing to do: what up? view every other yeah. human as a wild animal that can and will kill you. Yep. All right, I, I got I got nothing against either one of you, right? Right. All right, so uh, let's let's throw this out here real quick. Um, the random situation, and uh, one of y'all is trying to rob me. Uh, well, I, I'm I'm grabbing my fucking knife, and I'm gonna start shanking you. Okay. <clears throat> Are you still going to shank me if I put around a buck through your chest at 25 yards? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I then think. you are smart, my dude. You shot me long before you tried to rob me. Well, think, think about it like this, right? Think about it like this. If it comes down to the point where, like, everybody's fighting back, they're just going to immediately start shooting. Yeah. Basic escalation. <laughs> they'll come, sure, they'll come in. Off. They'll come in. Safety's off. Ready to rock. Guns drawn, you know what I'm saying? Like, the moment something moves, you know what I mean? It doesn't motherfucking surrender, they'll pop it. Because yeah. that'll be what, you know what I mean? That's be what they're accustomed to doing. I think yeah. a problem a lot of people have is they think of, like, deadly encounters like they're presented in movies. They think movies are fucking reality. Yeah. So they have this totally fucked up, skewed perception of this very real shit. Yeah. Like well, everybody knows everything from the movies. Everybody thinks you know NSI and NCIS is real and all this dumb shit is fucking yeah. real that they're putting out. It's, it's not, all right? Like yo, these, these like the people you know what I mean who are doing these jobs are regular human beings, legit, and they just fire at random. Like I've seen cops legit unload their whole clip into a door jam, you know what I mean, and <laughs> at, at ten yards and missed a dude, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, well, like, that's because you live in dumbass fucking Pennsylvania remotely. And I mean, but it's also because of the fact that most of the cops right now are young as well. You know, they're not old cops. They're young cops, you know, and they're fucking they're terrified being out here on their own. You know, and yeah, when, yeah, when yeah. they tell them to come I, start I, snatching firearms and they're still police afterwards. You know, what I mean, like, yo, they they're going to keep killing people. I, I I agree. I agree. Uh, fucking young jittery cops are that are, are, they should not be a thing. You know, and if like yo, you get popped by like if you get seen by the police trying to walk go somewhere, you know, what I mean, they see firearms on your back and you're supposed to confiscate them, and you're by yourself, and you have no defensive po no defensive abilities other than drawing your firearm, you're <laughs> fucked. Yeah. And they're probably going to take you. There's always another option. <laughs> yeah, Shut up, that Floyd. they're gonna take the easiest one. Clip you, take all your shit, and roll. Yeah, whatever's gonna give them the best chance of getting out of their life. That's what they're gonna do. And and being successful. On top of that, they'll take everything that you have on you. Yep. Dude, do, do you really think I would take more pleasure? Okay, look, I, I'm 36 years old. Do you think I would take more pleasure in shooting someone? Or lighting them up with a taser a few times, you know, thirty seconds Yo, at a but time. There, these these guy, this guy you see uh, walking, I know, but this guy you uh, see walking is you're, you're, armed. You're trying to get up. That's cute. This guy you see walking is armed, and he's not allowed to have that firearm. Well, you're getting tased. What's the? Uh, you're, you're you're not even getting effective warning. range on a taser. Do you know what the, the the actual range is on the Taser Floyd? Eh, you got to be fairly close. Define fairly close. Close. What about 15 feet? 
That's a long shot with a taser. <clears throat> yeah, it ain't shit compared to a gun. Yeah. Where you can pull that 12 gauge out and whop him from the motherfucking, from where you're at, and he's on the road. You know, and that's kind of the mentality. Yeah, I, could, I could also knock your ass down right, with right. my fucking Yo, nine millimeter. Yeah, look, we, we spent, we spent way we, far away. Again, again, that's but, the easiest way. Anyway, yo, look, we spent 20 minutes talking about this topic for, like, no reason. But anyway, right, yeah, yo, look. Yo, this has been Tom P's of Pinoy News. Here's with Denizens and Adepts and my boy Floyd. Um, Denizens, you got anything to show? Uh, the only other thing I wanted to add, something a lot of people don't think about when What's they're up? looking at bug or something, is dental hygiene products. Because if you get any kind of dental infection, you're opening yourself up to a myriad of other problems. So that's something to definitely stay on top of. Oh, baby wipes, by the way. You know, baby wipes. Take baby wipes with you in your yeah, bug out definitely. bag. You know what I mean? Something to wipe your ass with. And on top of that, you can stay clean. You yeah. know, that's <laughs> like, you'd be amazed how quick an infection forms. Yeah, absolutely. Like real shit. You know what I mean? Um, you have anything to show as far as like shows, channels, anything you're doing? Uh, no, not a goddamn thing. Gotcha. <laughs> Ring that fucking bell over on Tom P. Yo, look. Here's the deal. You want to get notified, unring, re-ring it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, if you're watching my videos, if you're new, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that bell notification. You get notified of all the new videos I'm dropping. In the meantime, you know the situation. Yo, like, share, and subscribe, motherfuckers. I'll be back. Peace.